Thanks, Shiva. I definitely don't envy the panel, Kyle. They're sitting there going, you know what? We've seen all these drafts before. We've seen how these teams play. We know they play very high quality Dota. And uh, who's going to play the higher quality Dota? Would you mind predicting a winner? I, I'm not even going to try. Um, I think that both sides have their comfort picks. Nothing really super surprising. We've seen the Monkey King TA matchup as a counter pick before. We've seen Liquid run AM into Wisp Gyro before. Um, noticeably, they let the Darkseer go through, even though they first do the TA just like they did in the previous series, because they wanted to respect Ban Yang's Mars, which is just unquestionably probably the best Mars in Dota right now. However, you're playing against Darkseer now, but then they have the AM last pick to deal with it. So it'll be really cool to see how it plays out. Do you feel like this is a good AM game as well for Miracle? We've seen the uh, the question marks arrive from the panel around this. Okay, my control. Pick it's, up your stacks. Don't yep. see any Observer Ward. It's cool. That's a perfect example of all the little efficiencies that have now become commonplace mm -hmm. in this 10th year of Dota 2. <laughs> ninth year of Dota nine. 2. Well, 8th year. Tech, it's TI9. We go, we go I TI9, call it so 1 to 9. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Unless we had TIO. Uh, doesn't quite reach that point. Uh, well, point is, you could say 16 years of Dota if you want to go back to Warcraft yeah. 3, depending how far you want to date back to its inception. Yeah. And it looks like Liquid's going to try and play a bit of a slower pace game. Obvious when they have the AM, AA combination. Vici, they can play so quickly around the map thanks to the Darkseer Spirit Breaker, the Wisp Reload, and then the Monkey King of Ori flying through the trees. They're going to have an oh. aggro tri lane for this rune. Yeah, with this Iron Shell, DY feels like he can create a lot of space and do a lot of damage. Kuro is the one copying it while GH gets a good kick through. They're looking to actually try and play and kill off Fade. No Mind Control's already got the top rune. Fade deck got, got a very fire. Might actually, can Miracle close the distance? He can't in time. First blood actually spilled by Yang. Now. And now Miracle is caught on the wrong side. He went mana to begin with, so he'll come back in. But now it's up to Yang and DY to kill off Miracle. Take out this one position. He can't play the Fog of War. The Iron Shell will burn through all of this. Maybe he can reach the room, but he can't even do that. And even oh, then, the God. charge forward. VG Gaming trying to play a faster intensive game. GH with a kickback. Pushes DY away. He'll tank up the Iron Shell of Yang. But so much damage being done in the early part of this game, but you see VG strength and just strength. They survive. And this is how you play Darkseer Spirit Breaker. You trade. They get the first blood. Definitely happy with how this plays out. And you can see now you're going to have Fade drag the Creep Wave away behind Tower as the Darkseer just lanes against Miracle. Mind Control going to do the same thing against the one support. Oh, it's oh, all right. actually yeah, dead. On the Spirit Breaker. What uh, saying? He's, a, he's a little too close. GH was able to salve himself up. And nice. this is the downside about pushing into the Ancient Apparition. It's a good job. Push back while Fade is actually trying to beat down Mind Control. He's got a salve, however, but he should. Uh, I think he might. Yeah, it'll be under tower, so it'll be tough for Fade to last hit to get these denies. He'll salve up as well. I'll charge in again from DY, working with Yang Ji. It's like, fine, get away from him. Do yeah. not touch my captain. Kuro's being punished right now because he skilled his uh, chilling touch to fight for the rune. You really want to have cold feet when you're playing against Darkseer Spirit Breaker. No actual peel available now. God, DY is just not letting up. The Iron Shell burn should be enough. Miracle's coming oh. over. Kuro, get away from the creep wave. Both of these are dead, but DY just needs to get back in range. The Iron Shell has worn off into the trees. Miracle blinks forward, making sure the DY can't go over, but then they just charge for a different target. Over towards GH, who's trying to influence Yang who's on the pull, but uh, you won't see the follow through for the SB charge. This is a clinical performance on how to play the dual lane off against a core that crushes you because you're in a scenario where you just continue playing in different areas as this duo until you can get a creep wave together and now they'll both be able to level up. Level two in the darks here, all of a sudden that spear breaker with an ion shell is way more threatening to Kuro's AA. And even if they die here, even if they end up just trading, remember that this is a two on three scenario and they're getting all of these. Oh god, with the experience. extra bash. GH may not have the space, has to kick DY away, gets him a range of Kuro. Of course, yeah, get yourself another bash as well. Burn up the lane. I don't know how you, how you actually do kill this lane, because even if you get close to the spirit breaker, he'll just charge your way to one of the other lanes. You've always got vision of the heroes. Look at Ori, man. No one, this was a scenario where he did not lane well against Weeha's TA, but so far Ori is on top. 10-5 versus 5-5. Five, five. 
Of course, we with that refraction on Deny, still gonna be able to keep the pace in that regard. Also, the fact that we can't get any kind of help because this dual offlane is actually running the same way it is. Another kill with the cold feet. Dy will die under tower. No XP though. Yeah, GH was a little bit too far away, but maybe he can get something into Yang. Starts with a kick, just needs a slow. Paparazzi kills mind control on the offlane in the meantime. There's been so much ship damage coming its way, it's not surprising that eventually the kill happens. And GH, he just needs some extra help. Mid's not even rotating off. TA doesn't even feel he's got the he's opening. Got Yang is going to be out of sound. Kuro's moving in. So here's your cold feet. Have they got enough to actually get the coffee trigger? They don't, and DY is ready to go. He turns around, Yang wants to surge, but he got kicked down by GH. And now DY, he'll start the same yeah. run, keeping the creep <laughs> wave. The objective will still be completed, no matter the sacrifice of VG. It's all about the creep wave. At the end of the day, though, that creep wave's worth more than your offlaner, especially at this early stage of the game. But you are giving total free farm to Miracle. However, Paparazzi enjoying that same freedom in the top lane and mind control is going to have a lot more difficulties in the comparison to the dual lane off of Vici Gaming Good only at 5-2. Mind control is actually having to battle against the support. Yeah. He has still three heroes of Liquid having to deal with two of VG Gaming. Double damage. Going out with the DD. Still just a, it's an even game and after watching Liquid play the previous series I find it difficult to ever bet against them uh, especially uh -huh in a game where I feel like the drafts are, are relatively even, assuming the Yang Darks here doesn't get out of control. And of course it is Wisp Gyro. It's like, you know, it, it's Wisp Gyro. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's Wee Ha TA, you've got Miracle AM, you know, a lot of, oh, they're going again. GH is in trouble, Miracle flicking himself forward, trying to burn off DY, they got the cold feet trigger, so DY one more attack, gets Miracle his kill. And they look towards Yang, three heroes together, Liquid are finally having enough. With Vortex and Chilling Touch, Rolling Volta comes forward, just a quick send over on Yang, but now GH, the Iron Shot, own kill under the tier 2 tower, take more damage, Miracle, nice blink forward, blocks up the tree so Yang can't play the Fog of War, one more hit from Kuro, will actually reach, it does, max range, but then under the mid tier, one tower, We Weeha's being attacked, GH, he'll arrive, for the kickback, they have the dust reveal, but the Rolling Volta forward from GH, Weeha will bring, give the extra damage to get the revenge kill into DY, but Ari, he's in deep, but he's building up the stacks, he brought G we a salve as well, and then heals up to full under the safety of refraction. Have now they got Kuro's support? The yeah, Kuro is coming in from the side. So Ari feeling very much trapped up. They need an extra slow. He'll come from the kick. Now the rolling Volta forward is able to connect. Ari can't get away. And we are a much needed kill. He was behind in that mid lane. Oh. He can't save top lane though. My control. He is just having the day from hell. He is level two, Toby, and this is not a hero that can recover. Darks here, you don't really have much of an issue farming stacks, looking to back lane later on, especially he's already level four. And once these supports get out of bottom lane, he'll be able to freely back the back lane behind tower. And look at the vision as well that Vici have placed out. You know where they're going to be looking to play. Aggressively in the enemy jungle is three, while the Wisp Gyro eventually have Relo come online around that eight to ten minute mark. Yeah. I actually just love how VG gaming and focusing mind control. It feels the same way as like uh, like the winners bracket final. Like what happened? You're gonna you're gonna creep skip. You can't even do that properly. VG just makes his life a living hell. Now the SB charge comes in too. Transition from one kill to the next kill. He's already zero two and he's about to be zero three. Kuro's moved in. He's got extra help from GH, but I'm not quite certain how much they can punish anybody. DY is in with a kick with the slow. GH just provides everything he can to get the cold feet off. Look at the net worth of these mid heroes, man. They're just going so much. Shrine, ha Shrine has to be burned for this, but Paparazzi, he'll still continue to find they've got the sustain available. Support's not coming in fast enough, and even then, it's only a centaur who's got nothing really to give. Now Kuro will die, giving Paparazzi his kill. I really like Paparazzi saved. He only had mana for one Q at the time, so he saves it until the Shrine deactivates so that Kuro won't be able to heal through the damage. Knows he just needs that one to be able to finish. Now level six. And yeah, seriously, look, look at the <laughs> look at the gold split in this game. There's been it's nine to eight. We're averaging two kills per minute, one each side, which means that the mid heroes, even though they'll have that XP advantage, net worth wise, especially because it's such a combative lane, yep. neither are accelerating. It's all about the one positions who are doubling up the second place on both sides. This is a really weird game of Dota 2, Toby. Yeah. I mean, this, this is when you uh, you really put your mind to the test. So like, how does Mind Control come back into this game with a hero that can't go, go, go jungle? And there won't be a lot of space to catch up as any mage is getting bigger and bigger. The Battle Fury will start to arrive. The jungle is going to get less and less. TA, she'll probably take the stacks um, yep. if they've actually been prepared as well, which they haven't. There's no TA stacks currently. Uh, we are, of course, seven and a half minutes in. 
So where's, where's your recovery mechanism for your off laner? Oh, it's almost a blessing that that top tier one was taken out by Vici because now the Wisp Gyro are going to rotate right inside that circle Kuro just drew on the map. And Mind Control is going to static farm the top lane and try and recover his experience in gold. Don't, and he even has a lane ward to protect him on that hill. So this is very good for Mind Control. You give him two or three minutes, he'll be right back in this. And you're actually giving me flashbacks to the... Uh, like the way Black used to play like his anti mage. Like, okay, you want to take my tier 1 and tier 2 tower? Sure, I'll farm under tier 3. It's the safest place on the map. DY, that's a lot of slow. He never even connected with his charge. TA trapped with the Vortex. Another hit out. The Colby will trigger. GH ro rolling bolter forward. Able to get the kill on DY. No support can arrive from VG to help out. And man, you really start to feel that movement speed slow that VG's got. Even against a Spirit Breaker. Obviously, you'll have Darkseer later on with Surge just to make everything work. Coming. Blink forward. Miracle, getting rid of everything, rolling ball to four, they're able to get the kick. With a slow, charges coming in, but it's already done. Miracle with the mana void gets the kill. That's now his fourth of the game. And DY and Ari, he goes down. Weeha working with Kuro yeah, to don't. find another kill and fade and paparazzi. It's too late, they'll have to dive under a T1 tower for something, but through Vortex or TA traps. Yeah, it's they hard. Don't, they don't have reload up yet, Toby, and Liquid are like the pressure. They they are not letting up. They are continuing to play just as aggressive as they were at the start. But Vici went to farm woods for a bit with their safe laner. And you look at the net worth, you know that if Paparazzi's not involved, you're gonna have troubles. And Miracle, he's finding kills without even impacting his farming rotation. He didn't miss a creep for that free kill on Yang's Darks here just a moment ago. MC all of a sudden about to be level five. <laughs> Not ideal, no, but, but you know, he, look at his net worth compared to Ori. Finally, he's got more net worth than his two supports, and more than the SB. Yeah. It was just been causing absolute problems across the map. And I, I expect that if this game goes Liquid's way, this will have to be the last we see of the Weeha TA. <laughs> they will pick it into everything. Uh -huh. And Ori, Ori playing Monkey King, he did a great job. This is the hero that many players consider like the, the best laner against TA in Dota right now, and it doesn't matter at this point because you're at a level disadvantage, you're a low armor hero, and you're threat so threatened by the dual support roaming for uh, with this TA, and they're controlling the sentry middle as well, so the traps are always a threat. You catch one of those with Earth Spear nearby, you're dead for sure. Yeah, this just feels kind of crazy where, okay, so yeah, you're gonna get the runes, uh, maybe not on top, DY. He gets a double damage room, but Weeha doesn't care. He's got Meld. DY is trapped outside the Vortex, and they haven't got the damage to kill him off just yet. Make the balance drive from Ori, catching Kuro and Wee. So will it call down? The first rocket will connect, the second will not, but the homing missile chasing down Weeha. Yang's moved in too, but the back underneath the tier one tower. VG, they are bringing so many people to these lanes to take the fight while well, liquid are always three yep and once again like the trap slow to just deal with the wave paparazzi you know gyro he wants to get involved but if you look at the lineup of ichi if they're ahead it's very easy for them to play dota yeah but in this spot where Liquid are just accepting the pressure they're aware that vici wants to play aggressive where's the initiation come from it's just a charge forward from a level four spirit breaker and he's consistently just getting killed off by the ta plus two supports yep. and liquid had two cores in both side lanes the entire time it also feels like they're always playing into those TA traps. Like, yeah, SB's charging in now. It's going straight down mid. But if he goes for Weeha, and that's where the pressure being applied, a quick pushback. Another thing to keep in mind, Monkey does not like playing around the ES, but here comes DY. Kuro's going to be there. Already puts the Vortex down. Look at DY. He's having so much issue just hitting his target. The movement speed from Weeha. They get back into the T1 tower. Kuro will die, but you relocated the infinite one. You want the kill. Great balance Fine. strike. Catches GH as he tries to rolling boulder himself away. And one last hit will do the work. Oh, he the killed him with the trap. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. Oh. So you lose your two supports, but you don't care as Liquid. The Centaur still getting actually as much farm as Ori. Uh, Weeha is taking a tier one tower on bottom lane, blinks away after forcing the rotations. You gotta give respect though. A lot of the reason Liquid's so comfortable fighting mid is because of the sentry battles. As long as you have control of the mid lane with traps, you can't play the lineup style Vici has. Yep. They don't have any real catch. They're just charging forwards and there's always traps separating them and buying that little bit extra space and time for the Liquid Heroes to get away. Sure, you lose both supports, but you get one in return. Interesting. Actually, a smoke up from GH and Kuro. Normally, they've been the one being the uh, the reply, but Paparazzi comes over the river. Rolling Boulder will not be able to connect, but they've got that double slows, but Ice Blast is already up from Kuro. Miracle will land the Mana Void, and he's the one he's that ends this free. He's 5-1-2. Battle Fury with a blink forward to complete at 12 minutes. This right. is the lane that, like, felt like it was being totally dominated 
by the SB as well as the Darks here, but Miracle still had space. I'm, I'm getting chills, man. Level 12, too. It's like TI7. Liquid makes them lower bracket run, start to look more and more pr pr impressive, and then they find themselves against the Chinese team in the grand final and crush them. And I don't want to say that's what's going to go don't, down don't, here. Don't say that. I was massively looking forward to that grand final. Castle was a 3-0. Like, it was... Like, that was the first time in a TI Grand Final that Liquid was actually, like, any team was able to just clean sweep but they, the final. They just, they give away the Wisp Gyro and take two incredibly hard counters to it in the in the AA specifically. But once you see it's a Gyrocopter and a Darkseer is two cores, the AM is inevitably a win condition. Look at him go again. Another dual smoke from Kuro and GH. They're just holding hands together. Create the space for their, for their heroes. Mind Control up on top. DY is trying to get with the Bulldoze a little bit more aggressive, and Mind Control wants it. He wants him to try and fight because with GH arriving, he's got Magnetize available. You have Ice Blast available. You want the fight. But VG senses something is wrong. The smoke will break on Kuro. The Observer Ward sees it, but then Kuro sees the Observer Ward. Quick counter. VG go a little bit more dark on the map. I just love how Liquid does it, though. They're only rotating the supports. They have two cores still just shoving lanes. Mind control. He's tagging. Maybe DY and Yang thought the GH has moved off. They're still looking to find. Mind control wants to come a little bit further down. Hope stomp out. Relocate is available. Monkey King's also going to arrive, so Vici can bring all five heroes to this top lane if required. Weehaw's farming an ancient stack. Miracle's hitting bottom tower. They're going for yeah. They're going for Miracle. He's already taken the tower and blinks away from Paparazzi. The uh, charge is coming in. DY well away from everybody else and to fight under a T1 tower against Miracle, uh-uh. And it's just, it's crazy. Liquid, they pull you all around the map. Oh, you want to come bottom? Immediately you watch Liquid Heroes assemble flowing towards the top lane and now looking to take what yet another tower. 4k gold advantage, a smoke from Vici. They've got to get aggressive. Midas on the Monkey King. Man, so I have to flag this to you. Experience difference. It's about 6,000 right now in favor of Team Liquid, but it's the levels. 14 on the anti-mage, 12 on the TA. The closest from VG is 9 and 9 gyro as oh well as God. monkey. The separation is massive. It, Liquid, they, there's just no answers. Unfortunately, VG, their real play here is to collapse as five, but Liquid aren't giving them opportunities to take advantageous team fights. They, they, they're only catch a spirit breaker. So if Liquid just continues to play off map, uh, what are you gonna do if you're Vici? And look at the vision Kuro once again has. Mm -hmm. Four wards, all centered around the river. Just trying to catch Vici as they flow back and forth across the map. It's kind of funny, like, uh, wherever the Spirit Breaker charges, you feel the fight's gonna come anyway, because that's how Vici can get information on the other side of the river without having the Observer ones, and Fake can relocate it in. But if you see the entire river, Liquid will see it coming. And the heroes are getting more and more maneuverable to escape. Like, Andy Mage is getting closer towards the Mana Style. You always have the Stampede from the Centaur just to back out of fights. And Templar Assassin, well, well, that's just Templar Assassin. Difficult to catch out. Not even a maneuverability item yet with the Blink Dagger. Went desolated to start with, and that's what's going to allow Liquid to go inside of Roshan and force this fight against VG. And then Blink on Mind Control as well. It's, co it's coming from the Curry, though. It's not on him yet. And that's going to fly in through the northern side of the pit. It's already dead. They're going to yep. get here too late. And Blink Dagger has arrived. Kuro getting charged. Mind Control just wants to stampede him. Kuro still stunned up. GH into the back line. Turns on the back of time. All three heroes scored. Oh, and Miracle, God. that spill damage out. VG were all too close. The buyback comes in from the IO. Yang will be mana pointed down. Mind Control, he's inside the Wukong's command. Kuro has only one choice but to die in the pit. But with this buyback from the IO, maybe VG now feel like can push in. Go after Weeha. He's the man to claim the Aegis of the Immortal. But Miracle, he wants more. Burn off the manor of Ari. A quick TA trap. They need another slow. GH comes forward too. Looking for a kick. Looking for control. Ari can't get Jack. He'll be brought down. Half a minute on the sideline for him. And Team Liquid take Roshan. Keep AM alive. And things get bigger and bigger. 8K lead. Yeah. 16 levels now to the 11. He's keeping the five distance. I'm speechless, Toby. They're just playing better. They've been playing better mm. for three days in a row now, and it still feels like Liquid are improving as a team. We, this is Weeha's first tournament. Yep. They've been together for like two and a half weeks. Oh, T.Y. 
We are. You know, you gotta give props to Kuro as well. He's giving them. I can't love how we are still trying to go for the side place. The kick from GH was enough. Rolling Boulder as well. Everything for the Spirit Breaker. Is there someone else in, in range? My control. The Ice Blast. <laughs> Man, it's like watching Gladiators run the gauntlet, DY. A blink now complete on Weeha, Spirit Vessel on the Earth Spirit, 18 to 12. But more importantly, Liquid's utter map dominance is an issue. They've got the Manta up on Animage. Miracle just simply cannot die in this game unless he makes a mistake. Yeah. Uh, they don't have enough lockdown. You need to probably blink, tank some damage, and then get stunned by Monkey Spirit Breaker ult. Mm -hmm. uh, and even then. Hey, this is this is why, like, when it comes to predictions. We uh, said it's, it's not an easy job. Like, the panel sitting there, like, you, there's no way you can know the Team Liquid are gonna nail two of their lanes so well. And even with VG start, you could see everything they had to work with, but something went off the rails. We'll work it out as uh, Team Liquid push up high ground. 18 minutes into this game, they've already done damage to that tier three tower. And Weeha is happy to stand. Aegis for another three minutes, has Blink Dagger to evade to. Keep in mind, it doesn't get reset when he's got his refraction up. That blink was Monkey King, frame. they see him in the trees. Careful, here's your back, here's your wall. The first hit is all going in to break that TA's Aegis of the Immortal. DY, he will fall to Miracle. The blink fall, he can't get the last hit. But the Spirit Vessel of GH does the work with a call down. Paparazzi with a flak of damage. He's hitting so hard inside the Wukong's command. Team Liquid really tried to force that. And they still get out. They do lose the TA twice over, only once from the Aegis and once from real death. And then the support and core, that dual lane in the start of Vici's laning phase, is the only casualties. More importantly, they saved the tier three though, so Vici Gaming will be able to maintain control of their shrines. But that was with no TA BKB, and he wasn't able to blink out after that initial kill on him. And you can see they dropped everything, the wall, <laughs> the Monkey King ult, yep. Gyro ult used. But Liquid are also fighting inside of it, they didn't just, yeah. ease, they didn't just disengage. But they still want to fight up on top lane. Three Observe was planted across this jungle. They want to see everything. And they're watching Fade move away. Miracle, uh, it's a hard jump unless you can catch Fade. Hey, ult's gone. Yeah, they're not going to do it. See, Kuro, if they had made a mistake there, and got Liquid's the going to immediately go in and try and count, uh, combat them with an AA ult onto the hill. Uh -huh. But because they do the long wrap, no can do. And I just love the watching the way Liquid consistently play around the vision they have around the map. It starts defensively, and then they just begin the same optimal farming patterns, but now on the enemy side of the map, and the vision is placed there accordingly. Vici still in it yep. after what we saw them do the other day against Liquid when they knocked them down uh -huh. to that lower bracket. It's a, it's obviously... Has, hey, it's still IO Gyro. They, yeah. don't, they don't walk into the trap, they walk to the bottom. They're looking to get the farm into the Gyrocopter, bring in that big damage. All them VG Gaming need to do is keep them controlled so the damage can be inflicted by the Gyro. That's, that's gotta be the name of the game. A lot on Paparazzi's back. He's already got the BKB, so at least he can stand in the fights and have the Maelstrom. But here comes Liquid once again. Three-man smoke up. They're looking to fight. VG will also smoke up. But they're headed towards the north. They want to try and catch out Miracle, who's about to show himself. And if they move fast, they might be able to get him. He's already taken the tier three tower. Charge is coming in. Spirit Breaker moving in very fast. Thanks to Darkseid and Buff up. Can they have the sun control? Manda style still available for Miracle. He'll pop it, blinks away. Is there another way to follow him? The homing missile, is there something? It's coming in, back, back in. Liquid, Miracle, he's able to get the blink away. He's still got another counter shield. He'll send it straight back. That homing missile turns around, but DY charging forward. Another blink forward. We are trying to help oh him. He gets God. bounced around, blinks himself down. Miracle continues the run, but DY, he's it's the biggest bash. runner of all. There's no bash. Miracle can blink into the trees and away. They are trying so hard, VG. They see the opportunity, but they just can't capitalize. Talk about playing your limits. I love how Liquid use everything but the kitchen sink to try and assist Miracle in getting out. The traps, the, the, the counters even hesitates to ensure the rocket bounces back, and then the stampede to ensure he gets that little bit of chase. And VG threw everything. Yep. They, they relocated forwards. They had double charges. Like, it just, they walled. Like, every spell used, and Miracle still gets the tier three and escapes. Uh, maybe they can go for another target, but I don't know which one. The kicks are coming in. Ari's feeling the pressure. GH is watching the tree line for the Monkey King. He knows his role. But VG, they also know they can still just hold their high ground. They have some nice AoE clear. They can force Liquid into an, a disadvantageous position. But we're losing that tier three tower. How do they hold their shrine? Especially this one. This is the Trinity camp, the most efficient camp for paparazzi to farm with Black Cannon. 
and let's say spot to play so defensively because they don't have vision on the enemy side of the river so we know where liquid are but Vici do not have this information for all they know there's a smoke move incoming Negative 2.5 seconds on the blink, if Case Miracle wasn't maneuverable enough. He's hit level 20 at 22 minutes in, by the way, uh, just as uh, we've got our level watcher on the side. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a tough ask, and I feel for Yang here. You know, Liquid choosing to ban the Mars instead of the DS, they give it away. On paper, Vichy Gaming's lineup is, is excellent. It's what they've used to make it all the way here to the grand final. Mm -hmm. Some of the best, like IO Gyro Dark Shades Beaver, they, on paper it's, it's fantastic, but it just doesn't matter if Liquid have a read on the map and they just simply can't find kills. Isn't that one of those things like when you go into a drop, you know, I'm, I'm actually willing Relocate. to let you yeah, relocate. They're going towards the mid lane. The Wukong's command is already down. GH, he's the one that's already turned on the Magnetite. Spirit Break is the first one to die in this entire engagement. And VG Gaming, they're really going to find nothing. They're trying to battle inside their own Wukong's command, but Kuro, he had the damage. Thanks to the shadow, their fade will fall. Now Miracle comes in for his own fight. Men are just bashing up. Hop stomp there as well. The T8 trap saw Ori go, but because Miracle's got that low blink cooldown time, he can jump forward and oh, his battle fury was on cooldown. He was wondering which tree monkey was on and couldn't work it out. But it won't matter. Three heroes down from VG, and this could be a very fast game, one of this grand final. It, the, their initiation is just too rudimentary. They they go in with the spear breaker, they reload forwards but there's just a stampede, and Liquid are out. The AA Blast hits, who cares about the BKB on Gyro? If it hits the Wisp or him, there's no healing that's gonna come out, and both supports die to effectively just the magical damage of the supports. Oh my god, he's got a full Abyssal Blade. Yeah. We're no, he's 19,000, like, net worth, 24 it, it, minutes into a game with 21 levels, and Roshan could spawn up in two seconds time, just to make things worse for VG, because they can't contest, but he's a long spawn timer. He's a two and a half minute up. It feels like the game is 35 minutes, but we're not even 25. And it feels like a sprint. That's what this feels like. 36 kills in 24. A miracle will just look to end. If the opportunity is given to him, he owns this dire side of the map. Great observers and sentries down. Spirit Break is charging forward up on the top. GH thinks about a fight. Ice Blast is coming in. Rolling Ball is in. Actually canceling. DY is charged forward. The Ice Blast hasn't really hit as hard as they would like to. But then again, DY, he's already gone down. They have the chill effect. Paparazzi has to use that BKB to escape out. Hilariously enough, it's still worth it. Ari gets more money. But he's not out just yet. Miracle's hovering around. The observer was waiting for him. Cut a casual tree while you're there. <laughs> it's just, that is a patience from Ari. Hell, you look at the, he's just cutting oh. random trees. They know he's in the vicinity. They saw him leap on the ward. Now they get the scan. Kuro's gonna vortex. Ice Blast flies in. Oh, he just goes straight over the top of it. Ari's down. They picked the exact tree he was on, but he's already now gonna jump down again and TP away to safety. Liquid, the hunting, the movement of leaves. Oh, it's just such a hard game for Vici. Miracle is so fat. But the gyro is still getting farm in. Like, he is more net worth than the TA. Even if the levels don't share it, he's still three levels behind the, uh, the TA on that front. But the butterfly is rapidly approaching for Gyrocopter. Everything that VG have got, they're putting into this Gyrocopter. Any kind of damage output they can get is going to come from Paparazzi. Things will change a bit. If you can get a wall illusion to Miracle, and the monkey BKB. You will have the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe until the butterfly is up on the anti-mage. They're so hungry for a kill, but they're walking over the top of TA traps. They're walking near raiding observer wards as well. Every aggression of VG gaming is just read by Liquid, either through vision or just through intuition. Yeah, it, it's, it's interesting because you think of Monkey and Spirit Breaker as vision providing, but with a game like this, they, they really they need somebody else. They're, they're, they're looking to consume it in this game. And Liquid, they've got so many methods of... Just the, the warding's been excellent from Kuro. Cannot stress that enough. Yep. They've got AA, they've got traps, they've got all these methods of scouting out the direction Vici's going. And if Vici don't have vision, they can't actually stun. They can't kill anyone. They need to lead with the charge or with Monkey King scouting someone out flying through the trees, and that's just not possible the way this game has gone. <laughs> Look at the fear of DY. <laughs> I'll run and I'll bash this trap once. And then I need to back myself off, like even bulldozing, just out of fear of Liquid's initiation. There is nowhere safe on this map. BKB on the TA as well. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got her BKB. Uh, she's going in for Nullifier next. 
Uh, Anti-Mage is is looking to finish up a butterfly as his next major item. Uh, interesting choice as well, considering you do have the butterfly over on the gyrocopter. But do either of these heroes like is it worthwhile buying an MKB at this point, considering how far ahead you already are? No, uh, the TA will. I don't know if Miracle wants to. I think he can just continue increasing his survivability because like, when he gets a butterfly, it's the gyro that'll need the MKB to be able to touch him. Yeah, what a beautiful stage. Recreate the Dota map. The trees. Nice to restart it up again as I is back into the game. Yeah, the trees. Uh, and the fountains. That's the coolest part. <laughs> I, I think the fountains are incredible. And they're like direct ports of what's in the game as well. Mm -hmm. Second Roche. I, I just love also the uh, the AR. Uh, Roshan comes in to smash everything down. Roshan's being done. They're cutting the trees down, making sure there's nowhere for Monkey King to jump forward to. And even a kick up the hill. BG have done the best they can to get rid of they're most of the TA in. trash, but they still get hit by a Threer. As DY is like, I'm out. I'm going bottom lane. I don't want to be part of this, but Miracle wants every part of this. Blinks into the middle of him. He's going to fade out the Wukong's command from Warren, but can he get himself away with the spell block? Yes, he can. That's a huge, two huge abilities down for VG Gaming. Liquid just need to reset now and go back in. First, they can heal up. Miracle's going to pop bottom shrine. He'll push the wave. You can already see the lines being drawn by GH. They know what's up. They've got cooldowns. So now they just need to relax. You can actually potentially finish this butterfly on Miracle, which is a huge timing window. I mean, obviously, he's far ahead, but this, this is the item that truly puts him at near peak influence in terms of his advantage on the rest of the game. And it's there on the courier. So in five seconds, depending on how far he blinks away from it all, uh, it'll be there. And VG Gaming, they know their best chance is that thing right in the middle of the screen. The anti-mage illusion. It's their best way of fighting back Team Liquid is to take their strengths and turn it against them. Yeah, I'm really just in awe, Toby. You know, oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, I thought he was blinking on an enemy for a second there. But, yeah. you know, I, I love watching Dota because you get to see, like, I love the game. And when you see it played this well, you know, it's, it's easy to forget you're supposed to talk over it because you kind of just want to sit back and enjoy it with everyone at home. Uh, don't They've worry, got all we're never spells. short of words. Weehaw's looking for his own fight coming in through the bottom lane. Here's your first lap down. Weehaw isolated and then keep the sun going. Can never get the cheese off. So Weehaw does go down. Mind controls in pretty deep with GH as well. This is what BG wanted. The ice bots, however, maybe not what they wanted, but they still get the double kill. In fact, they even cleaned up GH in that. BG Gaming. You can love Dota all you want, Kyle. Never yeah, feel like one I team has it in the Look, bag. It's never in the bag. Uh, of course not, Toby. I knew that. I'm trying to keep it interesting for the fans at home. We don't want a 3-0 stomp, all right? Yeah. The more I praise Liquid, the more the mojo might turn against them. That's a huge fight for Vici, and it's all because of the BKB reveals on the Gyro, or rather the Monkey King, and then the Gyro obviously still with his. Yeah, you I see how you can't, get your haters, Kyle. You, you, you <laughs> can fight Vici if you... Oh, 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 Miracle, he's being charged, he jumped yeah. forward, he's looking for the sun, he's he looking for the to pass, he, he got him, and he anti hits him with a mana void. There is the pulse around, Miracle still going for DY at the moment, here comes your ice boss. Miracle thinks about sending his ground to five because the ice boss connects, the agency model's gonna burn, Kuro is here to help him out. The homing missile is going towards the ancient apparition, but Miracle's back to life again. He doesn't blink up to help his teammate, however. They just take the kill and get out. Abyssal Blade's not ready in the pinging of the Observer one. They know, they know Liquid's playing with too much information. He man to dodge the Spirit Breaker stun. He cut the tree Monkey King leapt to. Ah. He's Miracle. It, uh, it never, uh, yeah, no words. DY running himself forward. That bulldoze at least lets him break free of the bash quickly. Dodging around Miracle, he blinked in. There's so much cleave damage, however. DY didn't stand a chance. Now GH wants a rolling boulder in. It's not just the bravado of Team Liquid. It's like, hey, we can go again, and let's go again, and again, and again. There is more kills to be had with the magnetite in the back line. VG just can't walk away. The Yang, he's out of, no, he's not. Miracle blinks up to catch him off. There is no escape here. Io will drop two. Or he's thinking about the Wukong's command, but the damage is already done from Team Liquid. There is no fight to be had. And of course he doesn't use it right away, because he can probably save it, <laughs> bait somebody out of position, and then look to pop it and find an extra kill. The arcane rune, th there's no there's no hope. Like it, the blink distance and cooldown reduction. Stop it, Kyle, stop it. <laughs> there has oh. to always be hope. The blink of pistol blade, Ari, here comes your ice blast. Save the cheese, he saves the cheese. Pops it off, jumps forward. VG Gaming, they styled on Team Liquid.
put through the winner's bracket mash, but Miracle's here to win darts. And the rest of Liquid are here to make sure it's got the space. You mentioned it before, like, Miracle is definitely the person we've been focusing on. But Weeha, he helped create the space. Kuro helped create the vision. My Control took one for the team. And GH has always been there working with Kuro to get these stuns, to get these controls, to keep the fight going. A call down out. My Control, he'll be hit by the homing missile. With another strike, they push it back. But Miracle's into the back line. He's looking for DY with the mana point. The damage just spills out across VG Gaming's face. And they want to go for more. Weeha hits with the melt. Paparazzi has got practically no armor in the ice blast from Kuro is probably going to hit the mark as well. Chills on Yang, it chills on Paparazzi. They can't even regenerate while they sit inside their fountain. It may be that time to move the fingers towards the button. A G, tap it twice. They just, there's, they're just doing it perfect, Toby. And it feels like the liquid drafting style is, all right, pick something for we that can't lose mid. First fade and, as well. And does a ton of <laughs> physical damage. The Wind Ranger, the TA, maybe a last big Meepo if they you know, really feel like it. And um, yeah, Miracle's gonna carry. Uh -huh. And the 3-4-5 continue to play near perfectly around the map. Like almost always you'll see them link up around that 10-15 minute mark. The two supports and mind control. They look to make things happen, find kills. And Miracle just has all the space and time in the world to get to this point where he's number one net worth. And then Miracle does Miracle things. Mm -hmm. You, I don't think you'll find a carry player that will better utilize a net worth advantage. I love he's not even completing the Scani just yet. Like it's like, I'll, I'll, I'll blink back. Now I've got everything I need for it. So uh, boom, boom, boom. All together. It does. Perfectly calculated. It and does. Then he gets a double damage room from the top river just to enable him even more. But this is big. You've got an MKB on the gyro and almost, is it, what's the level on Wisp? Is that 19? Looks that way. And when, if they can get 20. It's 16, unfortunately. It's 16. It's, 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 I often get those numbers confused. It's like turn the frown upside down, turn the six upside down, you get a little closer to where you want to be. They do have, uh, because Miracles win so many stat items, his wall illusion is very powerful when used All back right. against him. Here you go. VG, they're outside the base. Yang will be the bait. He is the lure. Weeha jumps for, he's got nullified. D-Y runs himself over. They need to get this kill nice and quick. Miracle, I spot's already flying in, however. Everyone's going to go down for VG Gaming. D-Y can't do much as far as stun control goes. Up. All that damage is totally negated. Miracle jumps in. The Wii Control command. Ari can hit with the final strike. Now that's a one. Well back into the wall. The GH will fall. My Control trying to retreat back out again, but they got the damage for that too. Ari with a double kill. Miracle gets out as quick as he possibly can. Kuro won't be so lucky. Yeah, he will be lucky. Out and safe. It's still hilariously an even trade off with a buyback out. It's just. Yeah, it's not, you it's not even see, the two big cores. You can see where the punish could come in for Vici. Uh -huh. If they bait Liquid into the fight, there's still four melee heroes, I count TA in that, on the side of Liquid. If they get too over-aggressive, roll forward, stampede, blink in, and all of a sudden there's a Monkey King set up on the trees, you, you will just get wiped. Miracle barely escapes with his hide. Okay, Miracle. Gonna, is he going in? Yeah, he's going. Oh, it's Miracle. Of course he's going in. Abyssal Blade jump forward with Mana Sal. You burn off all the mana. Oh. The charge is coming in. Buyback in from the eye. He's going to relocate forward. Miracle maybe bit off a lot more than he can shoot. They just need to hold it there with the back. They get the control. Miracle blinks away. He's on top with nothing. 90 HP. He's trying to push it back. Oh, he gets the kill. 1,000. Level up your battle pass. Get the gold for Miracle. Ten times spree that Ari will take. It's still just two racks, Toby, and keep in mind, it's an anti-mage that's at peak efficiency. You're, you're level 25, you are six slotted. It's not really gonna get much better for Miracle. You've killed you've killed the raid boss. You've yeah. shown that you can do it. And maybe now Liquid start thinking like, maybe we should play a little bit more sensibly across the map. But Weeha, now he's right in front of VG Gaming. They jump in, man, the sideway damage, and the ice blast. Say goodbye, Ray, to DY, and there's not much of an escape either for Yang. Alvarante and Faye were coming over. They needed everybody there ready to fight. Norris is sitting on the street going, I don't understand this kingdom. This is meant to be my kingdom, but this is just hell. And there is a Midas that's getting him back into this game, though, and it's level 19 on the Wisp now. And when he hits 20, the game changes a bit because Vici still have three cores that continue to scale exponentially. Notably, Darkseer, just thanks to the wall illusions. Like, he's getting, if he gets the AM, you're good to go. You'll soon have a free Ags picked up on the gyro, thanks to his friendly Wisp partner. And yes, the gold advantage is insane, but check out how much of that is on the supports in the offlaner. The cores have caught up. Not quite, but you're going to have a free 4.2k gold on the gyro the moment Wisp hits 20. 
and the AM net worth is not as relevant once he gets past 30, because sure, you can get a moon shard, you can synth an ags, but you know, that's 10,000 gold that isn't as effective as that same amount of money on paparazzi, who's still got slots to spare. Liquid are coming up mid again. They don't have Centaur with them. They also don't have Miracle. Keep in mind that Roshan will be spawning up. He's uh, about a minute away from his spawn time, about 51 seconds now from his spawn time. Courier, careful, that went right over the top of a ward. I think, yeah, it's gonna get sniped off, and that oh, was meant no. to be for the Scardi. Uh, Jar is gonna be pissed. That's the Monkey King. That was the Monkey King's one? No worries, yeah. Okay. He wants to have some kind of staying power so that a miracle, and well, really it's BKB piercing slow. It's very effective when you're trying to kill Wii. But more importantly, it, Liquid should know his buybacks on cooldown. I know they don't know he won't have the cash either. Yep. And there's only one racks remaining for them to take. Spent so much money on that. Jaro will at least have his buyback. And at one point, Miracle's gonna stop taking all this money. Give it to somebody else. Interesting to also watch Weehar go back in for a Solar Crest. Like, we're not just amping up the damage. We talked about the MKB potential pickup. He's like, you know what? Solar Crest is the way. Yeah, just throw it on his Animage. Miracle's, you know, he knows his role on this team. Roshan's alive. The TA trap from Liquid will see it. There's an Aghanim's upgrade to be had. Jeez, I, I feel like you just give that to Mind Control, right? And all of a sudden, this big combo that we've been discussing that Vici still has potential to pull off. Yep. You just pop Stampede, you get the damage reduction, you get terrain walking, and you go straight out of that Wukong. Oh my god. Yeah, Kareem's on AA. Roshan's already gone down. Who's gonna take this? They're giving it to Kuro. Tough. They're giving it to the Ice Blast. All right. Take that to you're playing against with gyro, right? If you hit it with if you hit the gyro, uh, satanic pickup later in this game is gonna mean absolutely nothing. And it if you can buy those 15 seconds of him back in base waiting to be able to regen, you're gonna lose that last rack, no problem. This tons also go through the roof. Now the TA is level 25, you got the meld hit bash that's arriving. So they've got the control to hold VG and VG keep grouping up too. Remember, they've got three heroes who come into melee range every single fight. The IO is normally with the gyro too, so there's always a cluster that the Ice Blast is able to hit. Probably another reason too why you want to give it that Aghanim's upgrade to the Ice Blast, to the AA. Now VG, they need the perfect fight right now. Like, perfect fight. They have buyback only on Spirit as well as the Gyrocopter. Monkey King needs another 48 seconds before he's got that Scotty back. Just some shooting practice, ensuring there's no way that Ori could be playing on those right side trees, because that's that's where the gyro would end up playing, and then you drop a Wukong as Liquid try and enter the base. It's actually kind of nice of EG. The fact that Liquid aren't forcing the issue is giving that extra 30 seconds for the courier. I know it's not much, but you'll take everything hey. you can get. Never know what could make the difference. Obviously, the gold lead continuing to expand for Liquid. All of a sudden, it's 34,000. Mm -hmm. Yet another record picked up by Miracle. <laughs> They're looking. Looking wherever they can. Five seconds for the courier. So, Scotty will be here for VG's fight. And Liquid is so patient, making sure every single lane is pushed in. And VG want to try and defend that bottom lane of Rax, they'll have to worry about the momentum from mid as well as top. So close to level 20 on Fade. At this point, I'm wondering if Paparazzi can even finish the butterflies. Like, I just need Rapier. <laughs> I just need damage output. Might not be the worst choice here. He's already got the MKB. You know this next fight, eventually Liquid are going to give you, will be for all the marbles. They're going to collect one more round of bounties. Make sure everybody's got buyback. Sept opponents has arrived though, so uh, Fade has that 20 you're talking about. So Gyrocup is getting stronger and stronger, and that's when the butterfly does it. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. It's interesting, he already has one. He's just gonna think about getting a second, uh -huh. because TA and, uh, and Animage do not have their MKBs yet. Mm -hmm. It will force that item pickup if he's able to pick up the second, but... He switches to Tannic. I don't know if I like that, Toby. Not into an, an Ancient Apparition that already has Ags. And there you go, that's oh. why my control didn't take it, because he buys one of his own himself. He's got the money. Charge out going refresher all. Uh, make your... Oh, really? Yeah, All right. double BKB. He needs it. Double cold down, double flat cannon instantly. Like, this is the item choice. Fade's gonna charge himself forward. Ooh, quick moment. Kala, Kala, Kala. I, you.
you'd think it would benefit Vici, but I feel like Liquid, you can already see Miracle <laughs> frantically talking. He knows what's up. He's got ages for another two minutes and 2,400 health remaining. We'll, we'll see if they can get through him. Everyone's behind. GH is nearby. Wee's ready for the jump. Mind Control is actually in range for a Blink Hoof Stomp, too. And they've already got double Vortex. Like, VG are fighting into so much amplification that's there from Team Liquid already. This is going to be dangerous, to say the least. All right. Everyone's reconnected back into the game. This is the fight for everything. Yeah. The refresher all in, no buyback on the gyrocopter. Either VG hold or VG lose. All right, we're good. On pause, back into our game we go. As Miracle, while well, they waited off, back he's off. copying the initial start turn. Time movements are around. We are jumped in. They can't kill off the gyro. Of VG are going to hold. And inside the Wukong's Mob, Paparazzi can now turn that damage around into Mind Control. That Aghanim said the Stampede does not let him do anything. Mind Control gets off stone and then flashed back in by the Wyatt. They found the bigger target inside the tree line. We are his caught. They've already used a refresh draw, but Miracle wants to go for a second round. It's late times he jumps forward into the boundless strike. He'll get the kill under DY. Cleans up the Centaur wow. Illusion. VG hold for the moment, but their tier 4 towers are going down so fast. VG can't defend. This is why Liquid were pushing in every single one of the side lanes. VG's attention is so heavily split. DY runs into creates some space, but all he does is run to his death. That's a dieback from the Spirit Breaker. The AA ult that hit the gyro meant that it doesn't matter how hard you're winning the fight. VG can't pursue out of base because gyro's stuck at half HP. The Wisp heal means nothing. You're tethering for the bonus damage, sure, but now with wall down, Miracle's going to move forward. He still has Aegis for another minute. Yeah, and he does. So even if you get this kill, what do you really get in return? That sounds so quickly on the Yang. He can't do anything. Man avoided down. Five back now from the Dark Seer, but the badge is already added to the Monkey King. Ori, man, he's really has felt like a non-factor in this game. Weehar just got his number. Miracle, he wants to die. He welcomes it. Three seconds, and the Immortal is back up. They've already got Mega Creeps available. Miracle looking for the blink away to save. He knew he does it. He's blinking into five. We have with him, too. He's a perfect side blade attack. And where is VG's target? VG's target is game two. They call GG. Game one belongs to Liquid with a 46, 47,000 net worth lead. 40 to 23, 42 in. A lot of 40s. I don't know what you're paying against them anymore, Toby. It's back to the drawing board for Vici. This was their bread and butter, and they got rolled.